Hey yo, what's up everybody? Home sir and welcome back to more Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough, real walkthrough, now playthrough with my Dex build. And yeah, welcome back. Today we are gonna be taking on the depths. Oh, this fun area. Uh first up, we got two guys in the front and there's a guy on the side creeping around. So what up creeping guy? And nope. <laughs> We're gonna stick with the Drake sword a little bit because it's uh it's a lot faster than the Black Knight Great Sword. And if you take your time to look over here, you can see a little ambush for later. Ta-da! Uh, the Chainsaw Massacre looking guy with the sack on his head. Well, I don't think the guy uses the sack. I think he uses people's skin. <laughs> Which, I don't know. I don't really watch horror movies. Do you guys watch horror movies? It's, uh... I mean, I try not to let it bother me. Ooh. But I do get freaked out a little bit from time to time. Oh shit, I hate that move. Yeah, if you have a if you're using a shield, it'd be a lot safer. But I'm on a hard ass, so Okay, I was hoping I can parry this fool. But it doesn't look like I'll get the chance. <laughs> yeah. You pretty much can just circle around for these guys. And if you're lucky, they'll... I think this guy always drops the sack. If you're lucky, they'll drop on um, their machete or meat cleaver. There's a dog down here. You can see him. Come on, dog. And then there's another one over here. Well, I'm just exchanging, exchanging hits over here. All right, we got a large ember. This is gonna allow us to get our weapon to plus ten, and then beyond that, we need um, a different ember, which we can get in New Londo ruins. So, yeah, and we can give this to Andre. I'm deciding if I should kindle the, the bonfire here in the in the depths. Come on, dog. Fine. I wanna I wanna make you get over here. Ouch. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. And the reason why I'm pulling because there's another dog in uh down here. Right there. Goodbye. Now let's go deal with the second mask dude right here. Nice landing. Superhero landing. Backstab. They're pretty slow too. You could just wait for them to do their attack animation and then go in with a swing. That also works. So if you don't feel confident about the backstab, um, you can do that. Just wait for them to attack, like run over and then bait them to attack. Hey, shut up. You run over there, bait them through an attack, and while they're after they're doing their attack, well, after they're done with their attack, my bad, bad grammar. Um, go in, get one to two swings, and then back away and just rinse and repeat. So, yeah. Me? Hey. Oh, but where? Where? I can't see you. Oh. Thank you. I would have been a sucker without you. Been eaten alive. I was trying to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Or the great swamp. I will not forget my name. 
He's going to be your pyromancer teacher. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine. Okay. And that's it for that guy. Um, he will reappear in... Um, uh, what's that place called? Shit. <laughs> Firelink Shrine. So, yeah. And then once that happens, you can get a Pyromancy Flame, which is on what he has on his right hand right there. And he'll give you that for free, and you can use that to cast Pyromancy. Which is somewhat pretty useful in the depths here, because there are these slimes that take forever to kill if you're just using melee weapon. But if you have a fire weapon, it will make the kill a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to take an alternative route here. There is a way to go, and then you can get to a bonfire, but I'm going to swing around for the bonfire. So, yeah. So instead of going to the alternate route, we came down from over there and then we made our way over here. We fought the dogs. This is where the meat cleaver was hanging out. The Yeah, it was cleaving his meat. <laughs> I don't know if that sounded right or not. And then you can get over here. Okay, drop down right here. And then just hug the wall on the right side here. And this will take you to... The spider shield. Now, this spider shield is very, very important uh, for the next part, which is gonna be, which is gonna be um, Blight Town, because uh, it has these guys, the blow dart guys, and they can talk, they can hit you with toxic, and it's extremely dangerous because uh, it burns through your health really fast. So, yeah, and here. We got a giant rat. If you want, you can cheese this rat with arrows until he dies. Or, if you're using a drake sword, dropping attack should one shot him. An axe to the eye, huh? And he drops his humanity. So, there's that. Soul of a nameless soldier. Um, that's a n not a trap. <laughs> this rat will lead you to a trap, though, so you have to be careful. Check around the corners. Check your corners. Well, actually, that is a big ass trap right there because there's these giant semi giant rats and they'll screw you up so we're not gonna go over there just yet so we're gonna retrace our steps and be careful down be careful if you want to make these jumps right here they're not an instant kill but they will lead you to some nasty nasty enemies uh, especially enemies that can curse Okay, so be careful about that. Uh, I will show you guys how to deal with that in a bit. But for now, I want to unlock the bonfire. Sewer chamber key. Let's go ahead and check out the key. Okay. What What's that key for? Well, you'll see in a bit. Um, for now... Oh, these guys are all... Mmm, triple! Oh, baby, it's a triple! What a humanity! Oh, yeah! And there's an invasion here if you're alive. Come on. Show me the, oh that's the that's the curse. There we go. Dark Knight Kirk has invaded. And he is right here. I will want to parry him to death, but I'm kinda not ready for that right now. Because <laughs> I forgot to switch over to my dagger. But yeah. 
and we also got another humanity so that is pretty good um so yeah just be alive and once you slide down that little part right there but i should have mentioned hopefully no one fell <laughs> but as you're sliding down from the top you want to keep left side okay and then you'll make it down here no problem i know i'm delaying this this whole I'm deleting this this whole um, <laughs> bonfire thing here. These slimes, if you got a fire, especially the what do you call it, the pyromancy that I was telling you guys about, if you take your time to go back to Fire Link and get the pyromancy. Um, if you use fire to kill them, it it takes like a I don't know one or two hits. It they die really fast with fire. There's an ambush right there. It looks like it's glitched through the wall, but if you run by, it will drop down. So be careful. And these guys also drop on um, these green shards. I don't know if we'll get lucky enough to get one, but the more human, oh we got one right here. Green titanite shards. These are, these can upgrade your weapon to divine weapons, which it's pretty useful if um, if you want to make a divine weapon. And the reason why you want to make that is once we head to the catacombs, we're going to need those divine weapons. We don't really need it, but it will make our life a lot easier if we have it. I don't know what happened there. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Fucking guys with a torch. This is what the sewer chamber key is for. Without it, you won't be able to access the bonfire. Or well, not the bonfire, the, the door to the bonfire. So we're just gonna light the bonfire for now. There's another guy with a torch. Bobbing and weaving right there. We're gonna wait for him to come to us because <laughs> I'm not about to go over there. Take it. And for this part, I like to just run by, run across until you reach this fire right here, and then turn around and you'll see a whole bunch of these guys. This would be a great place to use firebomb, but I'm saving that for another enemy. That's gonna be, I don't know, I feel like more useful against after we're done with Blight Town. Just take your time if you don't have any fire stuff. Fire bombs work as well. You don't, you don't need to have um, pyromancy flame. If you got a fire bombs, it works just, mm, just as well. But if you want to melee them, <laughs> it does take a little bit more. And so there's that. If you continue this route right here, this will take you back to the beginning. And also, there's a pickle right there, but be careful, because if you look up, there's an ambush right there. I don't know if you can see it. I would just get near it, and then roll away. There you go. The reason why you want to avoid these things dropping down on you, it's because um, if they land on your head, it, it does a good amount of damage. Like... <laughs> If I have full health right now, I'll probably, I'll probably end with um, two-sixths of my health left, I would say. So, yeah. And if you, if you win, okay, let me just show you. I don't know how I can put these, put this into words, but that's where we fought the mask guy that dropped down from the top. So instead, you could have gone this way instead, like I said. Um, but then you're going to have to go around for the sewer key. So I don't know if that's worth it to you guys. 
But yeah, if you if you took that long alternative route that I showed you guys, the part where you drop down, um, it makes it makes that little key thing a lot easier, and you can take down the the giant rat. So yeah. Okay, we got a whole bunch of rats right here. Take them out. Hopefully we get some humanity. Careful, because the rats will all poison. And here we got a great axe. Uh, that's another thing you can do with the spider shield. If you have the spider shield, use it right here, and you block the rat's attack, um, your poison meter will actually not fill up if you take their attack. So that is another cool thing that um, the spider shield can do. Now, what did we just get? Alright, great axe. I was talking about the spider shield and I forgot about this. There you go. This ambush. If the enemies wants to follow uh, wants you to follow them, it's usually an ambush. <laughs> like that rat was backing up. Fucking ambush right there. The hell? Fuck off. Be careful right here. This will drop you down to the curves uh the curse rocks. Which we will take them on anyways, but I wanna take them on when I wanna take them on. This is not a boss door. This will take you to one of the wizards. Remember that room with the uh, with the big ass rats? This is that room right there. Into the eye, into the eye. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, relax. Relax. I thought we were playing range battle here. What what's what's up? What's up with this up close and personal business, huh? Let's get that guy's intention. Oh shit. Oh shit. Then let's get this guy's attention. And finally you. Come here. It's easier to kill them on the side, like right here near the stairs, because they have to turn. Well, usually they'll turn, but sometimes they will try to attack you from here, so be careful. But most of the time they'll try to turn and get up, and as they're turning, you can just hit them. It was stupid of me to stand back over here, because <laughs> I thought I was gonna, thought I was gonna end up triggering all three of them, so I got a little bit worried. Don't look away. Just because you look away doesn't mean I can't see you. Okay, two rats right there. Or just one. Okay, I'm on. Oh wait, is it the other one? Shit, <laughs> we're fucking forgetting things. It's not there? What the fuck? No, I could have sworn there was a like, jump. The rats jump out here, right? Damn it. This is what happens when you do a run with multiple characters. <laughs> yeah, besides this character, I'm also like trying out other builds and stuff. And goodbye. Didn't drop anything for me either, huh? That's okay. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to take any drops. I'm gonna go there personally. So this is where we fought the big ass rat, or this is where we murdered him. 
because we didn't really fight him. We just should have kicked his ass. Alright, so we're back down here. You could go back to the bonfire if you want, but I'm not gonna. Because the, fr uh, the cursed frogs, they don't really attack you. They pretty much just try to curse you. They, I don't believe, I don't think they have any um, melee attacks to be, to be honest. See that fog right, what, where'd it go? See that fog right there once you get near it? Okay, it disappeared, but I'm, I'm scared. Okay, because I don't want to get cursed. That shit's insta-kill, and I don't want to be losing any health here. Being cautious. <laughs> so, curse is a very nasty thing in this game. Just double checking. No hidden walls. That looked like a path from up here, but it is not. And I keep thinking that's a path, but it is not. Anyways. So, the name of the soldier. Come over here, come over here. Don't, don't, sh don't spray your shit. Oh, there it is. And they drop eye, eyes of death. Which can be used um, as a covenant offering to Grave Lord Nito. Nito Burrito. Where is he? Where is it? It's right here. Okay. So if you guys don't want uh, don't want to go through the whole hassle uh, hassle hassle of doing PvP, you could just do that if you want. Two for one. Three for one. Four for one? One for all? <laughs> I don't know. More cursed frogs. Okay. Let's grab up this item first before we do we do that whole cursed frog business. Uh, look at that. That's the hole that if you drop down, there's like two of them right here to greet you and then there's more around the corner. So that's why I don't want to be dropping down. Ooh, any hoes. So I like to just bait them to come out. It's like <laughs> one at a time they come to die. Oh, this guy dropped another one. Another one bites the dust. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, he's covering the the area with Fuck you! Oh shit! I can't hit him! Okay. <laughs> Starting to panic a little bit. A little stagger threw me off. But yeah, just wait around the corner. 90% of the chance it'll work. <laughs> yeah. And right here, you will get Ring of the Evil Eye. This is actually a pretty good ring if um, you can deal damage without. Uh, taking too much damage. So, yeah, we're actually gonna try that out right now. So we can recover some health. So, yeah, Curse Frogs, if you know your positions, like your positioning, um, not too difficult to deal with. If you don't know your positioning, you don't know where to go, you don't know where they're coming from, that can be a problem. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, right here is another jump item. Jump! Got it. If you miss, you just fall down. It's not a kill, so don't worry about it. Okay. Jump! 
you can use the wall as to pick up speed and then jump like that okay you don't exactly have to like do a running jump style or anything like that um, if you miss you just drop down over here so no big deal you're not gonna die or anything so don't worry and I believe that's pretty much it for the depths uh, we covered pretty much everything here and in the next episode we'll kick the boss's ass and level up right after that and head on over to Blight Town. Blight Town, it's probably gonna be a. Uh, I say probably. I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends on how long I, I take to get through the area. But if it takes about an hour, I'm probably gonna split the video to two parts. So yeah. Now we're just going to head on back. We're not going to rest in the bonfire yet. If you want to, you can. But we're going to meet an uh, NPC and then we're going to head to the boss door. Oh, and by the way, it's very important that you took, the, uh, you took on that wizard. Okay, uh, I forgot his name. But the guy that shoots arrow, I mean magic. It's very important that you kill him because if you don't take him out, uh, he will bo uh, buff the boss. So, yeah, ma uh, make sure you take him out. And also, yeah, he'll be firing uh, magic arrows at you if you didn't take him out and you're fighting the boss. So, be careful. Next up, we got an NPC here. Make sure you don't kill him if you guys like to kill NPCs. Uh, because this guy, he will sell you boss equipment. So if you want to look like Ornstein or Smog or whatever, after you kill them, you come to this guy right here. Um, he will then sell you the boss outfits. But he's going to move to Firelink after we take down this area. So, yeah. Hi, shall I? I'm a good day to you. I'm Don on the Zena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Yeah. For now, he has Gopine Resin. And some crystal weapons. I highly recommend you don't buy any of this because uh, they can't be repaired. So it's a pretty a pointless kind of weapon. But they are semi-powerful. It's just that you can't you can't repair them. Uh, he also sells the arrows, so that's pretty nice. But we don't need any arrows right now. <laughs> well, we'll see how much souls we got left after we level up from the boss, and then I'll decide about if I want to buy any arrows. But for now, we're just going to leave this for now. And you can buy his set if you want. Okay. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. No? Maybe because of your weird ass helmet. No, no, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. Is he floating? Looks like he's sitting on midair here. It's. I don't know. Or well, maybe that's his feet. Anyways, <laughs> that's not the point. This is, uh. This is the gates to Blight Town, but it's locked. It will remain locked until we defeat the boss. So. That is that for now. If you come over here, see this grand arena with the boss. Uh, it looks like you can go here, but you cannot. It's blocked. That item that you guys saw over there, that's um, I believe the warrior set. I don't know if I'm getting the name right, but it's one of the starter set as well. So yeah. Uh, there's nothing there. Law tricks sign and Solaire's sign. Okay, so you can summon both of them for the fight. 
I don't know about summon all or both of them. <laughs> this is gonna drag on the fight if I do. But maybe I will. The fight is actually pretty damn easy. And I would say <laughs> it's easier to solo than have phantoms with them well with you during this fight at least. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just summon Solar, maybe I'll summon both of them. We'll see. And if you want to go and take on the boss, there's the boss story. Okay? But yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. It's so I thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms. Outs.